In the close-knit community of Livingston, Texas, the sudden disappearance of 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham sent shockwaves through the town. What started as a routine morning quickly escalated into a desperate search for a young girl whose life would tragically be cut short. This is the heart-wrenching story of Audrey Cunningham, an innocent child, a shattered family, and a community grappling with the unimaginable. There's nothing that we could possibly say that will bring her back to us. On February 15, 2024, Audrey Cunningham's day began like any other. As she prepared to catch her school bus, her family was unaware that this would be the last morning they would see her alive. Audrey, known for her radiant smile and cheerful demeanor, was an 11-year-old who brought joy to everyone around her. But that day, she never made it to the bus stop. When Audrey failed to board her school bus, concern grew rapidly. Her family reported her missing, and a search was quickly organized. As hours turned into days, the small community of Livingston came together, coming through fields, rivers, and wooded areas in the hope of finding Audrey safe. The disappearance of a child is every parent's worst nightmare. The town rallied in support, with volunteers pouring in to assist in the search, driven by a collective hope and a desire to bring Audrey back. After a grueling five-day search, the community's worst fears were realized. On February 20, 2024, Audrey's body was discovered in the Trinity River, approximately 10 miles from her home. This discovery marked the end of a harrowing search and the beginning of a painful journey for her family. The circumstances surrounding her death were chilling. Audrey's body was found with a large rock tied around her, bound by a rope that matched the rope previously seen in the suspect's vehicle. This gruesome detail pointed investigators toward a deeply disturbing conclusion. Don Stephen McDougall, a 42-year-old friend of Audrey's family, became the central figure in this tragic case. McDougall, who lived on the Cunningham family's property, had agreed to take Audrey to her school bus stop that morning. Instead, he became a prime suspect when it was revealed that he was the last person seen with her. McDougall, already in custody on an unrelated assault charge, initially participated in the search for Audrey and publicly denied any involvement. His statements, however, began to unravel as inconsistencies emerge. Witnesses and evidence linked him to the crime, and investigators uncovered troubling details about his past. McDougall's history included previous criminal convictions, including the 2007 plea deal for enticing a child. His troubled past raised serious questions about how he was allowed to remain in the community, ultimately leading to a deeper examination of systemic failures. When I was watching that, it's like, like words can't even explain. I felt helpless. Um, I felt like there was nothing I could do. It was crazy. It was definitely something I don't want to live through again. Terrifying. You know, it really was. I mean, he's, like I said, he seemed like a nice guy, but then he's got this whole other side to him that no one seemed to know about until now. I'm praying for y'all, and I'm so sorry that that monster had to come ever into their life. On April 22, 2024, Don Stephen McDougall was formally charged with two counts of capital murder in connection with Audrey's death. The legal proceedings revealed a troubling reality about how justice was handled in his previous cases. The charges against McDougall highlighted the failings of the legal system, which had previously failed to protect children from predators like him. As McDougall's trial loomed, it became clear that the community was grappling not only with their loss, but with a sense of betrayal by a system that should have prevented this tragedy. Audrey's death exposed critical flaws in the legal system. Despite McDougall's history of violence, he was able to avoid serious consequences due to legal loopholes and plea deals. This case spurred a push for legislative reform to address these gaps and ensure better protection for children. Family members and advocates, including those affected by McDougall's previous crimes, began campaigning for changes in the law. They sought to close loopholes that allowed McDougall to evade serious penalties and to enhance protections for children across the state. Efforts to introduce new legislation, named in Audrey's honor, are underway. 
This proposed law aims to prevent similar tragedies by ensuring that those with a history of child exploitation are appropriately monitored and held accountable. As the legal and advocacy battles continue, the community of Livingston remains in mourning. Audrey's vibrant presence is deeply missed by her family and friends. I'm truly blessed to have given birth to such an amazing little girl. Hopefully with all of our candles together, uh, it'll be bright enough, you know, maybe she can see it. Uh, maybe she'll see all the love and support that come together at once. So thank you all. This world is not going to be the same without her. No matter where she went or who she met, she just made them light up. She could always make you laugh, and no matter what kind of mood you were in. It just isn't fair that we all got robbed of that. Her mother, Cassie Matthews, described her daughter as perfection, and the loss has left an indelible mark on those who knew and loved her. I am beyond blessed to be able to give birth to something that is she was perfection. The community's grief is palpable, but so is their resolve to honor Audrey's memory by pushing for meaningful change. The vigils and memorials held in her honor serve as a testament to her impact and the ongoing fight for justice. Thank you for joining us in exploring the tragic story of Audrey Cunningham. Her story is a somber reminder of the importance of vigilance and justice. Please share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below and consider subscribing to our channel for more in-depth coverage of important stories. If you want to support efforts for change or learn more about how you can make a difference, check the links in the description. Together, we can work towards a safer future for our children.